Hi, Artist of Obsessions, also known as Obby, and uh, I am joined today by a wonderful, amazing, lovely friend and player. Hello. Hi. Introduce yourself, please. <laughs> uh oh. Hey. Hi. I didn't see you there. I stole that intro from Cyber. Um, my name is <laughs> <laughs> Mac Lucky Cherry Picks, whatever you want to call me. Um, and I'm playing Story, as I often do. <laughs> Hi. Uh, that, that, I'm also playing a character that should be noted. I am playing Meadow. Funky little bunny gal. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I adore her. Someone else doesn't. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I am glad that you adore her. I'm glad that many adore her. She is just, she is just a gremlin bunny She's so character. Silly, <laughs> <laughs> ah, but yes. Welcome we to the are FPS. opening. Yes, welcome to our FPS. Our FPS, which is opening on yet another normal day at the tavern, or at least as normal as a de day at the tavern can be. <laughs> it's worth noting that this FPS is taking place before certain events, but eh, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, besides the point. Uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. That's besides the point. Um. We start with uh, the the broom closet, not the actual broom closet, but the bar that's hidden behind the broom closet. You know, the secret entrance, yada yada yada. Uh, one thing to know about Meadow is that she's actually the bartender uh, for that particular bar. She she gets real fancy with the tricks. She gets real. She she likes working there. It's fun because she gets to show off at anyone who comes in for a drink, alcoholic or otherwise. But uh her her little drink making and whatnot is kind of difficult to do when you start running out of particular types of alcohol. So she has gone in mm -hmm. search of a the supply of alcohol uh, kept somewhere else in the tavern. She has to do a little bit of a search. <laughs> uh, she wasn't informed by her employer where she would find these supplies, unfortunately. You'd you think she would know, but... Mm -hmm. uh, she's she's talking had about. several experiences at the tavern where the layout just keeps changing. So she's like, eh, I'll just find it when I find it. I'm not even gonna bother trying to memorize this place. It keeps changing. <laughs> yep. Keeps changing. Speaking of change. <laughs> Speaking of change. Speaking of change. Uh, she has gone to the actual broom closet through uh, the the bar. And has opened the door expecting it to go upstairs after retrieving supplies. And instead it goes downstairs. Deeper. Deeper into the earth. And that's not normal. And Meadow, seeing this, just takes a long, long look at the dark stairway leading underneath. Oh, this is absolutely the beginning of a horror movie. Okay. Well. <laughs> and Meadow rolls up her sleeves and uh, shoves whatever she was holding into her hammer space and... <laughs> Figuratively dives right in. <laughs> it's time for an adventure. A surprise adventure. <laughs> I, I We talked about that, that already, but the fact that she sees something very clearly wrong and awful and scary and goes, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good to me. <laughs> She's just like, yes, finally, something new. Woohoo! <laughs> So with a hop, skip, and a jump, she's hob hobbling down the stairs. <laughs> right. And, um, once Meta reaches the bottom of the staircase, um, which, in proper cartoonish fashion, is really visible till you get near enough to it, um, mm -hmm. it opens up into this, like, well, what looks like a basement-looking area, which for sure wasn't here before, um, this door never led here. This place has never existed. I don't think you've ever seen this little area before. Um, but it does look like another storage area, so maybe you'll find what you're looking for here. 
perhaps there's more alcohols to peruse and bring back upstairs with her. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure. In fact, I imagine this whole downstairs area is filled with like a bunch of crates. Yeah, crates uh, and junk and shelves. Crates, junk, shelves, a couple doors leading elsewhere deeper into whatever this new place is. <laughs> this place that has not existed but exists now. <laughs> <laughs> the tavern, who cares? Um, it's the tavern, who cares? Uh, and if you'll do me a perception real quick. I love perception! I know I you do! Real quick. <laughs> Eleven! Okay. <laughs> well. It's a basement. <laughs> you don't hear or see anything unusual. This is just... Basement city. Basement city. Uh, Meadow with, uh... Who is none the wiser to see if there's anything, like, actually up with the surrounding area. Is basically just gonna, like... Uh, crack her knuckles and start uh, digging through some of the crates and like just basically inspecting whatever's inside like okay let's see we've got this brand of soda we've got this when did we get this alcohol I didn't know we had vodka <laughs> Meadow Meadow mm -hmm. um, things are great You're ha things are great you're finding supplies new supplies that you could for sure use you're digging through these crates you're in this um Brand new room, but uh, nothing's really wrong here until something grabs your shoulders. <laughs> ah! Oh! <Boom>! Ah! <laughs> and it immediately spins around. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, standing like looming above you, uh, um. Pointy teeth, bared and glowing eyes, uh, is story in this kind of like about to grab you sort of position, just cackling now. <laughs> Meadow pauses for a moment before, in the split second decision of a gremlin, uh, tries to trip Story's feet out from under them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do I roll? I'm gonna roll to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you startled her, and therefore she's immediately picking violence. That's alright. <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> Probably would be... Or I could roll a dex instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm gonna roll a dex roll to with your competing armor class, I think, okay. is what would make sense. Like, it's an unarmed strike. Great. And she's proficient in, but she still has her dexterity score, so... <laughs> Let's see. Yippee! Fourteen! Barely misses. Barely misses. <laughs> Story was expecting this. Yep. Yep. <laughs> They're expecting to get punched or something, so uh, he mm -hmm. steps back uh, just in time and just goes... <laughs> You make that so easy for me. <laughs> and Meadow, Meadow, like, straightens up to all of her four foot five ness, ears not included. Uh, <laughs> and just, you can see, like, one paw already rubbing over her face, like, oh no, this is, this is gonna be a long interaction, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, alright, that was good. <laughs> Hi, Story. Hey, Meadow. What are you doing down here? Exploring. Hmm. What are you doing down here? I mean, I... same as you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I found it first, so uh, if you wouldn't mind skedaddling, <laughs> heading on out. <laughs> I, I ain't budging. <laughs> Well, well, you know that I'm also here to get more supplies for the bar, so <laughs> maybe you should be the one who's moving on out, because I'm actually here on business. Business? Does Chloe even pay you? Actually, she does. Hmm. How much? <laughs> Insert minimum wage here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow. What? It's not like she can afford any better. 
<laughs> Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no. Um, new room. New shit. Junk. And I've already put- I've already claimed it, so, um... Sorry, you can take whatever sodas you've already grabbed, but, um... I'm hanging out here today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not happening, buddy. Sorry, I'm gonna just keep doing my thing here. <laughs> and Meadow is just completely ignoring them and starting to, like, basically go back to rooting through the... <laughs> rooting through the... Crates and such. <laughs> well, it is so hard to exist around you. Okay, um, <laughs> just just like Hobson goes to the other side of the room, um, rooting through a different crate that um, <laughs> has something more suited to what he's interested in. I think. Um, mm -hmm. It's vinegar. It's vinegar. It's all vinegar. <laughs> It's vinegar and oils. <laughs> it's vinegar and oils. <laughs> There's probably supplies from the kitchen here as well. <laughs> uh, if, I, I think... Story does stop trying after that. Um, she is annoyed, but like... You're very clearly stronger, so... Uh-huh. He's not gonna try. Um... But I will say, um, after, like, a moment or so of this, like, parallel, um, rooting around, um, eventually, uh, while you're focused, you get hit in the head with a little wad of paper or something. <laughs> right in your forehead. Meadow. Like one of her ears flick, and she just kind of like glowers up at Story. <laughs> Who's still rooting through the little box, acting like nothing happened? And she just rolls her eyes and uh, picks up the little crumpled up ball of paper and like very curiously opens it up to see if there's anything even written on it or if it's just you know trash. <laughs> um. Well, now that you've opened it up, I, I feel like I have to put something on there. On there. Hang on, hang on. It's, it's a little <laughs> drawing of a middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> if you look back up at Story, he's flicking you off. <laughs> oh, well, that just makes her even more determined to stay down here. Be, be as bothersome as she possibly can. In fact, she's starting to, to she has decided that to shove whatever she's grabbed already in like into her hammer space and she's moving right next to Story and kind of casually bumping them to the side as she starts digging through their crate. <laughs> <laughs> through, wait, hang on, through my, the crate that I'm already digging through? Yes! <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? Um, do you mind, actually? Because I'm trying to get some supplies, actually, for the kitchen as well. Well, I'm uh, getting supplies for the lab. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the, because the lab is so important. More important than your dumb little milkshake bar. Dumb little milkshake bar. At least I'm making the tavern some goddamn money. What do you do? You just sit around and do nothing. I don't do nothing. I do science. You do nothing. Yeah, science. Sure, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> These two are children. <laughs> the, only the only thing your milkshakes are good for is stomach bugs. Oh yeah? Well, I, I do recall that when I made you that vinegar malt, you actually kind of enjoyed it. Hmm? That, well, I... That didn't happen. It sure did. We have the recording to prove it. <laughs> Meadow casually breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I only pretended to like it because I knew you expected me to dislike it. Uh-huh, sure. And like as, Give me as my box back. That, 
<laughs> Meadow is completely ignoring once again and has started like picking up different bottles of vinegar and casually tosses one to the side. <laughs> on. That's good stuff. Are you sure? These kind of look shit quality. It... So? It's aged. <laughs> yeah, aged. Aged! How long have these things even been left down here? Damn. <laughs> like, she opens one up and it's like covered in cobwebs. <laughs> hmm. How long is this place actually... I mean, I don't know. As far as I know, this place spawned into existence literally, like, half an hour ago. Yeah, well, that tracks for tavern shit. Yeah, I know it does. But this stuff is like a cop. Like, oh, <laughs> that's so... I should ask Chloe about this. <sighs> Meadow has, like, rolled her eyes and basically just scoops up an armful of the vinegar and shoves it into her hoodie pocket. Uh, I want to take one out of her hand, like, as she's moving them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, we have to do a competing roll, I think. Okay. Ooh. I think sleight of hand would work for you, I think. Well, Meadow mm -hmm. does, uh... Actually, you'll try to beat Meadow's passive perception. Okay. Sleight of hand, sleight of hand. I have had good rolls for the past two games. Sorry, three. Three. Oh, okay. <laughs> rarely, rarely underneath a ten. And now, <laughs> and now, when it's when it matters most for pride, <laughs> for, my pride is down the drain. You wanted this dice parser. You wanted this, and you have it. <laughs> Uh, you try to, like, casually lean over and pluck a bottle of vinegar out of Meadow's hand, but Meadow, like, sees this and immediately just kind of does a very tunish smear frame where she goes much lower than you expected before springing back up in front of you, which kind of leaves you grabbing at nothing. <laughs> and in, at the split, just a second, uh, from the next frame, immediately, it's story just, like, hands behind their back, the whistling a little tune. Like, oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> what, you got a problem? Something happened? Meadow just does like a very cheeky grin and blows a raspberry at Story without really doing much else before shoving everything into her hoodie pocket and, you know, absconding with her stolen goods. Mm. <laughs> you know what? She's gonna basically go back up the stairs. I mean, because, like, as fun as it is to torment story, she does have a job to do. And she does have to get back to the bar. <laughs> yeah, she does. Uh, and... <laughs> the moment story notices that Meadow's leaving, like, ah, oh, finally, good riddance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> have fun at your silly little job. Oh, I will. I, I, what? And you can see like a very, you can hear a very confused silence from the top of the stairs. <laughs> uh, before Meadow is suddenly back down at the bottom of the stairs and just kind of stage whispers, Do you know where the door went? What? Sorry, sorry, the door's what? gone. The door is gone. The door is gone. <laughs> the door is gone. <laughs> you don't believe me? Come look. Yeah, okay. The like... door is gone. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you, do you look up at yeah. the at the, top yeah. of the stairs? Yeah, he goes up the stairs. <laughs> the door is gone. No doorknob, nothing. No seam. No, no doorknob, nothing. Hmm. It's a stone wall. <laughs> Meadow, I don't mean to alarm you, but the door is gone. I've already told you that! Hmm. Maybe you should get your ears checked. They just kind of like kick at it gently. Have ears? I can! <laughs> and they mimic um, Meadow's little rabbit ears. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I Thank will you. Again. As much as I hate you. <laughs> 
Uh, and he does a gay little bow and then gets <laughs> back down the staircase. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, you kicking the wall, it is, it is in fact solid brick and stone. <laughs> well, what the hell? <laughs> so... So... Hmm. Th did you shut the door behind you? When you... I didn't. You didn't? You left it open. I left it open, and now it's not there. Damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, fu I'm... Okay. <laughs> You're gonna... The There's dawning something... realization hits both of them yeah. at once that they're stuck in the same room. <laughs> they look at each other. With no way out. <laughs> they look at each other. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Everyone in the fucking... <sighs> Ugh. Sorry. Meta, like, rubs her face with both of her paws. <laughs> So he just sighs, goes a little limp, and then uh, trudges over to one of the other doors in the room and tries it. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, it's locked. <laughs> and then audibly just, oh, and then goes to try another one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one actually, uh, because I have, I've written it in my little notes, that one has a whole bunch of stuff just kind of piled in front of it, and it's very difficult to get to. <laughs> They're just like reaching over it, and then just eventually, after like, you know, honestly, after just like half a second, they just <laughs> give up and go, oh, <laughs> oh man, I think Meadow's gonna be doing something stupid in the meanwhile. I'm gonna roll strength. <laughs> roll strength to do something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what you got uh, for me? Uh, as you were, like, heading back down into the basement proper, uh, to investigate the doors and such, see if there's another exit, Meadow has retreated back up the stairs back to where the door was, and has basically, uh, leaned back and lifted up one of her- one of her hind paws, and just given a solid kick. <laughs> to which there is an uncomfortable cracking sound. Mm. <laughs> and she goes, Ooh. <laughs> And, like, just backs up and, like, hops on one foot while holding it. <laughs> oh, on, the, on the top okay. of the staircase? Yeah. I imagine that, like, there's, like, a little, uh, a little space at the top okay. of the stairs. Yeah. Where there's, like, you know, like, a space to put stuff down. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you doing all right up there? Peachy. Just peachy. There sounds like it. Ugh. And like Meadow, like her head appears at the bottom of the stairs again. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you found anything? Um, I, I did learn something important. One of these doors yeah. is locked. Uh-huh. So, what about the know, other one? Um Inaccessible. Accessible. You just gotta move the damn things. You do it. You do it. Well if you, you I don't wanna do it. Well, I don't wanna do it either. Why not? Because you you want me to do it now. <laughs> I want you to do it because I don't wanna do it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't want to do it either. <laughs> well, fine, I guess we're stuck here together. Fine. You want to stay here for the rest of time, forever? In this small little room with me, huh? Is that what you want? Uh, do you want to roll insight? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> what? Sorry. Okay. Doing well for three games in a row, all this- Sorry, this is baffling to me. Keep okay. going. Well, with the- with a seven, uh, you don't really get much from Meadow besides, like, a frustrated eye twitch. But, uh, Meadow eventually starts grumbling and very, very purposefully shoves you out of the way before going towards, uh, the pile of stuff 
us in front of the door. <laughs> and Story's got and like a, a smug a ass shit eating grin. A renewed vigor to <laughs> get the hell out of here. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what he wanted. Mm hmm. Just smiling. Okay, uh, I want you to roll me an investigation real quick. Okay. It's probably plus six, most of it. You know, I'm using Abra. <laughs> you're swatching, you're swipping, you're swip swapping. Abra, you beautiful fuck. <laughs> A 19, okay. Uh, Meadow is kind of like rubbing her hands and starting to basically randomly start tackling the pile on moving things. However, with your quick discernible eye, you were able to recognize that this pile has been made somewhat precariously. <laughs> In fact, if Meno does something wrong, she might very well topple over the whole thing and crush you both. <laughs> oh, uh, Meadow, hang on. Hey, don't, wait, don't touch that one. Don't touch that one. Hang on. That's oh, gonna fall one? on you. Which that's, that's, you that's me, that... Which one do you want me to not touch? Meadow. Is it this one? Meno! <laughs> <laughs> Look, like, Meadow and purposely like pointing like no, no, her no, no, paw no, no. towards towards like a chair that's stuck in the pile no 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 hang on hang on hang on hang on <laughs> listen the, that that will fall on both of us if you do that one first <sighs> and like meadow like she wants to grab it so bad just despite story but she does like hey stop and like look at the pile more critically now. And I'm gonna give her an investigation roll as well, real quick. I have a question after this, after this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me see your roll first. I have two, <laughs> two. Okay. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> um I want I wanna direct her toward one that might like drop something on her head. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> like a flower pot just Maybe you spared. Leave, you spared, Leave me spare. But... Just like one little thing. So if she moves mm -hmm. it. Yeah, whatever. Mm hmm. I just want to make. Oh, <laughs> 19. I think you actually can determine that. Yeah, there is something. Right. A part of the pile where uh, if she moves it, uh, she might very well get herself caught in the crossfire, but not get you. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little. Just, you know, like flower pot on the head, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the classic gag, yes. Mm -hmm. Listen, this whole thing's gonna come toppling down if you touch the chair. You, you're, you're better off going from this angle first. <sighs> and, like, Meadow, like, rolls her eyes. She doesn't know why she's trusting Story with this, but, like, it seems Story at least is knowledgeable when it comes to smarter observations. Mm -hmm. When it comes as to seeing. as she is to admit it. Yeah. Well, she's not admitting. <laughs> oh, she'll never admit it. But in internally, she'll admit internally. it. Internally. <laughs> internally. It will never be external. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, Meadow will, uh, at Story's direction... Uh, go to the the new item that has been picked out and uh, remove it from the pile. <laughs> and now I need to make her a dex save. <laughs> twenty two. Damn. Uh, with the with a twenty two, uh, Meadow grabs a. What, what looks like a, a battered old chest and kind of yoinks it out of the pile. And the pile like teeters a little bit and a flower pot, which was sitting at the very top, uh, falls and seems that it's going to hit her on the head. But Meadow just very casually takes a big bunny step back <laughs> and it goes crashing to the ground with a shatter of ceramics. And she, she gives you a very hateful little glare. <laughs> uh, Story has a little halo now above their head, and they, their, their wings have uh, gotten a little smaller and, and uh, pure white to resemble angel wings. I'm gonna roll strength. <laughs> You're gonna roll strength. Just straight strength. <laughs> Ten. 
Uh, hmm. Meadow, when it, with a sudden burst of malice, uh, attempts to go for the for the table leg that you pointed out earlier and pull it out, but it's a lot harder to move than originally than originally anticipated. And she kind of like grips it with both hands and like kind of grunts as she like tries to pull it out of the pile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 come on. I told you to move that one. God damn it. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> Asshole. I, I didn't do anything. You need to do anything. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. She, like, gives you, like, a flat look, which screams, I wouldn't trust you as far as I can throw you. Wah, <laughs> <laughs> wah. <laughs> Wop, wop. <laughs> and eventually she just kind of like growls in frustration and kicks at the leg. <laughs> Which still refuses to budge. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Woo! Nice job! Nice job! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? You what? kind of Meadow kind of like looks over her shoulder and you can see like the anime eye gleam. You know the one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's gotten a new idea. <laughs> a comical bead of sweat. <laughs> listen, listen, Meadow solves her problems by, you know, applying force. Right. And uh I'm gonna see how you I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll athletics to try and grapple story. Really. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> you can either roll acrobatics or athletics to try and okay. get out of, get out of this. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, th I think, I think, how do you, are you just, like, lunging at her, or? Yeah! <laughs> then you're just gonna like, sidestep. Like... <laughs> mm -hmm. You, you were pre-warned by, by the gag, and you were able to easily sidestep out of the way, as Meadow does, like, a full body bunny bounce, <laughs> right at, directly at you. And Whoa. instead, it gets a face full of crate. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, you're just gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> you're right, little thing. First chance I get, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to murder you. <laughs> you wouldn't. Okay, fine, maybe I wouldn't, but that's only because I respect Lewis and Marion more than I ever will you. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. And then uh, Meadow is gonna go back to like crossing her, like putting her hands on her hips and like staring at the teetering pile. Um, at this point, Story's just kind of like leaned against something, all cool, arms crossed, uh, just just suggesting then um, uh, you should go from the uh, left side first instead. Actually, this time. Your Meadow left. is basically giving you a flat look before uh, she kind of reaches behind herself and uh, picks up a picks up one of these smaller crates, which I'm gonna roll strength to do. Uh, eight! Oh, come on! <laughs> Me like, Meadow's like trying to show off, but something mm -hmm. about story is like kind of shaking her up more than usual with her, you know, show off -iness. <laughs> And she's not <laughs> performing as well. <laughs> You know what? I, I, um, I have an idea. Um, I want to give you bardic inspiration, but in the form of a taunt. I think that would be funny. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I'll just have story go like, um, oh, you having trouble? <laughs> I Ooh. thought you were supposed to be good at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Permission to re-roll and then also apply the board against permission. permission granted. What is my inspiration? I, I, I can't. I think it's a. 
<laughs> Alright then. Dice, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. It's a D8. D8? Okay. 17! <laughs> Alright, that's a D8. I'm gonna add the D8 anyway. <laughs> Two! A 19 in total. 19 total. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Easy. Story, you say this taunt, and then Meadow, with a frightening burst of energy, uh, lifts up the crate easily over her head with both arms. <laughs> there we go! And... <laughs> And, uh, basically, like, turns around to face towards the pile and, like, squares her feet up and, like, squares herself and leans back and chucks it at the pile. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, it crashes into everything. There's the shatter, the sound of, like, shattering glass and broken wood. As, uh, not only does the crate break, but as well as one of the one of the supporting limbs of the table which was holding everything up. And Meadow immediately turns around and bolts to the other side of the room. <laughs> As the pile starts falling. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving also. I think I'm too close to it. <laughs> deck save, deck save. That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, where are you, where are you, where are you? Deck save, deck save. Oh, I'm using Advite right now. I'm using Advite right now. You're using Advite right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think that's enough. I don't think a nine will cut it, huh? Mm -mm. Uh, well, story, you get to experience what it's like to be a pancake for a moment. <laughs> Fuck you, ever. Fuck you. <laughs> and you are going to take five bludgeoning damage in total. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think, I think, um, comically they just, like, kind of comically, I say, but it's more, like, worryingly, uh, they just kind of disappear, uh, underneath the pile when it falls. So mm -hmm. for a moment, there's just nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then a, a moment passes of silence, and then, um, uh, a little mouse comes, like, squeaking through the rubble, and, uh, Pulls herself out. What the fuck, oh. Meadow? I mean, there was no other way to do it. There was, there was okay. absolutely another way for, for you to do that. I figured throwing at it would give 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 us enough time to like run off. Clearly not. Ah, Jesus. You okay? Like really? Actually? Yeah. No thanks to you. Fuck. It's not that bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Uh, and they crawl out of the pile and then, uh, get big again. Mm-hmm. Well, it's- it's- yeah. it's done. It's done. Huzzah. And, like, uh, Great job! <laughs> off screen, there is, like, a sad, pathetic party confetti thing in camera frame. <laughs> <laughs> And like a, a like a trombone that's like, wah, 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 wah. you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzle solved. <laughs> and like Puzzle stupid, solved. that stupid like three D moving font. Then you know then. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Puzzle solved. <laughs> Puzzle solved. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That actually sounded from the tavern. <laughs> and it makes Meadow, like, jump and have huh? her fur stand on end. Did you hear that? Did is you... that normal? Did you hear that? I heard that. Okay, this is... Hmm. This is getting freaky. Okay, let's just- and Meadow is gonna go over to, uh, the closet, which, uh, in big, bold letters is written, uh, Supply Closet on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, after you. And, like, she kind of, like, gives story again, that kind of flat, unimpressed look, before, uh, she- basically messes with the doorknob and eventually opens it, and then leans back and nudges it open with her foot. 
I'm like cowering behind her, looking over her shoulder for whatever reason. <laughs> it is. It's 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 a janitorial supply closet. There's there's a bucket, there's a mop, there's a shelf covered in cleaning supplies and repair stuff like wrenches and such. There's like an overhead light. Huh. And like uh and it looks like actually there is a a ring of keys that is hanging up on the wall. Okay. Although it must be it must be noted that this ring of keys it's comically large, like the size of a hula hoop. And there oh. seems to be hundreds of these little buggers. <laughs> oh. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Who needs that many keys? <laughs> hmm. Chloe, evidently. Well, um, you can never have too many wrenches and <laughs> Story's just gonna take the like toolbox from the closet and keep it. Yeah, Meadow's gonna comment nothing. If you wanna steal the tools, go ahead. <laughs> They're mine. She has no use for them. <laughs> so... Yours now. One of these has to unlock the other door, right? I mean, probably. They are all. The oh God. Okay. This. Mm -hmm. This will be fun. You know what? This is gonna be fun. Give me. Give me an investigation roll, real fast. Okay. It's probably a plus. And six. I will also do it for Meadow, who will not roll as high as you will, <laughs> because it's. A I'm switching to dice parser. Twelve. Eleven. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> but it is it is enough for the both of us, I think, to get the bare minimum of information. Uh this ring of keys actually is covered in again, lots and lots of keys, but they're all in different art styles. Mm -hmm. As well as made of different materials. There's one that kind of looks like it's made out of lined, sketchy paper. There's another one that it kind of like looks like an old rusted key. Another one that kind of has like has like a button shaped thing on the on the back of its handle, and yet another one that's kind of uh, it kind of looks like it's it's meant to be in something in claymation. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that there's shit. There's just there's they're all different style, different make. They look like they might belong to different entryways or episodes potentially. Who knows? <laughs> Mm hmm. Hmm. This seems annoying. Yeah, like, who needs this many keys? Goddamn. <laughs> and, like, Meadow is just, like, uh, kind of, like, casually makes that comment as she reaches over and, like, kind of grabs the ring of keys. And, uh, the moment she does, <laughs> the key ring begins to rattle and jingle in her hands as all the keys start vibrating and Meadow goes, whoa, uh, uh, what? something's happening. Wait, whoa, oh, 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 no, no, I, I, are <laughs> moving. Your problem, not mine. <laughs> Story puts their hands up and backs away. Meadow, like, drops the, the keys and, like, kind of, like, bolts to hide behind Story this time. I'm hiding behind you. <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> Just, like, the gag of them hiding behind each other again and again yeah, and yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As uh, the keys on the key ring start rattling and uh, suddenly uh, they all start crawling away from the key ring. Oh, hang <laughs> like on. bugs. Like bugs. Ew. First off, ew. Second, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to go over to the bucket uh, and like try and scoop up as many as I can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh gosh, what would be a good roll here? Uh, let's just do a straight, uh, a straight dex for like seeing how many you can get in here before they get away. <laughs> 30, 20. Twenty. Yeah, thirty twenty. You actually managed to get a, a good majority of them uh, within within the bucket. Like you immediately like run over and grab the bucket, kind of upturn the water and the mop that was sitting inside of it before slamming it down on the retreating insect-like keys. <laughs> Do they have legs or are they just like... Legs have kind of formed from them. <laughs> and they're kind of skittering. <laughs> 
Well, they're uh, in the bucket and now. You did grab, and while you did grab a majority of them, there's still, like, a couple others that are still, like, crawling away into different parts of the basement, which Meadow herself, I'm going to roll dexterity again. Uh, a 13. Oh, wait, no, it was supposed to be a plus four. I forgot about the plus four. If I had it's a nickel... A if I had a nickel for every Dungeon Meshi-esque game I've had, uh, this week alone, I'd have two Don't nickels. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was looking at the gallery and it just hit me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, with a... 17 in total. I think that's enough for Meadow to grab, like, some of the retreating keys. Like, uh, you can see her, like, kind of, like, on all fours, just animalishly, like, running about in the basement, like, tackling and pouncing on, uh, retreating buggies. <laughs> Vile little things. Vile little things. Thank you, like Meadow. Meadow like, Meadow clutched in her two in both of her paws. She has like uh, tw tw 12 different keys that are just kind of sticking out in between her feet, in between her digits. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, no problem. Uh, what the hell do we do with these things? Uh, uh, they're still moving. Uh, and she's like, in the bucket. Up her arms and she like drops them all into the bucket. <laughs> it's, it's just bugs. Don't worry about it. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, okay, hang on. Um. How the hell are we supposed to figure out which one opens the damn door? <laughs> Maybe one of them doesn't move? Dude, they all look like they're moving to me. <laughs> yeah, but there's also a fuck ton of them. Ugh. Mm. And, like, Meadow's gonna, like, look over at the the only oh. other door in the room currently. And, uh... Can I get, uh, you to roll another investigation as well as Meadow? Actually. Right. I have an idea. Mm-hmm. Has never led me astray, but first we're going to investigation. Mm-hmm. Fourteen. Six. Six. <laughs> Six. Six. Meadow is just kind of kind of like looking at the locked door and scratching the back of her head. She can't really make up make anything of this, but uh uh, story. Taking a look at the door, you notice that the door is a very particular art style. Mm -hmm. It seems to be made of it seems to be like a more realistic art style. One that's made of paints potentially oil or gouache. One of the two. And it's mainly a wooden door with like a metal, a metal uh, lock and handle. The it's the lock and the handle are metal. Mm -hmm. So most likely the key is also metal, correct? You think? I think this is I... a verbal. Probably. So. So we can rule out this little guy, and like Metal like reaches into the bucket and pulls out the the, the little the little uh, lined piece of paper key, which kind of squirms about in her hands before Metal kind of drops it to the floor and it scatters away. <laughs> yep, don't need that guy. Um. So okay, I've been using this one a lot recently, but uh, I can heat Metal. I can just kind of like. Make that key a little warmer, dump it all out, see which one glows red. Uh, well, there's a lot of them that look metal, but I guess it'll narrow it down. Right, but... Hmm. I say go think... for it, and like... I'm gonna roll something for Meadow real quick. Meadow, uh, rolled a seven. Uh, Meadow reaches both hands into the pocket of her hoodie, and she pulls them out, and they're now in with... They now have oven mitts. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Do you think? Do you think the key that we need is also moving? I was assume I did, operating under the assumption that it was just a we'll key. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> right. Well, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> burn. All right. Well, um, 
let's see! Um, and I'm gonna do that, I guess. I'm gonna, um... Hmm, I'm just gonna dump it out into your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, okay. using heat metal. Uh, I think, yeah, I think, I think what the idea is that you're casting heat metal to essentially, uh, heat up all the metal keys. Yep. And parse them from, uh, the many, many keys which are skittering about in here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Meadow is basically going to grab any of the keys that are glowing hot. Yep. And gather them all so that you guys can further, uh, parse which one is the current key. All right, you got it, boss. <laughs> it's about what I want to do. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go, then! Yay! Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I feel like I need to get Meadow to roll something in order to do this successfully. Because you, you, all you have to do is cast a spell. There, 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 there's no, there are nothing, nothing else to it. No. Nope. Uh, I feel like Sleight of Hand would make sense for Meadow here. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, I'm kind of, I am just like dumping them out onto your hands, so you have to like, yeah, yeah, catch the red it's ones. It's like fast, fast <laughs> reaction time. Yeah, right. Eight, eight. Oh, metal gets one key. <laughs> so, so the the metal keys are moving as well, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Meadow yelps like, "Wow, oh, wait, don't do all of them!" And uh, it manages to grab one key out of the the mess of keys. Uh, the the rest of the keys go scattering into the basement, and you can see Damn about it. twenty or thirty, twenty or thirty of these metal keys now glowing red hot, which makes it a little bit more obvious to see. Luckily, uh, running about to different corners of the basement. <laughs> okay, well, we have one minute to catch those before we don't know where they are anymore. Ah, okay. Um, uh, yeah, just, uh... <laughs> go, just go, go. Put, put, put this one, in the, put yours in the bucket, and we're going. Yep, yep, and Meadow, like, shoves, uh, shoves it into the bucket before, uh, she pulls off one, uh, oven mitt and, like, tosses it at Story's chest mm -hmm. before it's off to the races. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now we're off. Catch as many keys as we can. Catch as many keys as you possibly can. <laughs> uh, investigation again? Or... Investigation again, I believe, would make sense. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on it. Well, well, actually, mm -hmm. well, actually, because they are glowing red hot, we actually can see them a lot easier. Oh, so right. maybe it's not investigation. I think it's probably just a matter of acting quickly. So Dex, Dex, right? Straight Dex. Yeah, 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 yeah. or what? Uh, let's. Yeah, straight decks would make the most sense, I think. Me thinks. Dice person fucking hates me. Avray fucking hates me. I have no one who loves. No, none of you little uh, dice bitches love me. Avray hates me too. Oh right god. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh. I. I'd say that means that we don't get all of them in that minute time limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we probably get like four or five before. Collectively? Ooh. Yeah, collectively. Ooh. Hmm. Well, maybe one of these works. Metal shrugs. We can try? Uh. How do we tell which one apart? How do we tell them apart for the door? Like, what, what are we even looking for? Like, what specifically? I don't, a key, I don't know. We can just... We can just test them each out one by one. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna... Hmm. I don't like how you said that. I don't like how you said that. <laughs> See, now that I've said it, I'm a little worried that something might happen. Okay, okay. Uh... I'm now going to go with the assumption that the moment we open that door, all hell is going to break loose somehow. Right. Because that's because, how it works in all Because countries. we brought it up. Because mm -hmm. I brought it up. Uh, um, she's going to roll a d10 again for hammer space. Eight. Uh, Meta races behind her back and this time pulls out a rapier, which she sheaths at her side. So that now she's ready for action. <laughs> hmm. So, at this point, I want to just see if any of these keys has... 
a similar art mm -hmm. style or rule out the ones that are just absolutely not mm -hmm. it yeah uh looking at the keys that you each have gathered uh there's about six in total six in total uh one of them is very clearly like a watercolor which you can immediately toss out because you're, mm -hmm. you're looking for either oil or gouache one of the two yep uh the other another is like kind of a a stop motion kind of thing so it's made of a more realistic material like actual metal but that again is not what you're looking for Another yep. one's just straight up origami, <laughs> metal That's, origami, yep. like, like you know, like those gold, the gold leaf foil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> instead, actually, instead of throwing these out, I want to slip in my pockets. I'm keeping them. They are pretty. They are pretty. <laughs> I'm keeping them. You now have three key bugs. I have bugs in my pocket. You have bugs in your pocket. Bug, bugs bug, in my pocket bug. and a song in my heart. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, I think there are three keys remaining. One looks like a very hyper-realistic, uh, kind of key. You know, like, the kind you see in, like, those medieval paintings? Yeah. That are, like, super-duper realistic. They're practically photos, but they're mm -hmm. paintings. <laughs> uh, another one is kind of, like, very artistic. Uh, more like an impressionist, but still oil. Mm hmm And, uh, the last one is a simplistic gouache one, which looks like slightly melty, but that might just be the art style. Right. Mm -hmm. And I want to compare these to the door, uh, mm -hmm. at least those last two or three, and see mm -hmm. if which one matches the best, because mm -hmm. the material, the, the paint seems to match at least. So let's just compare them. Hold them up next to the door and see what looks best. Mm -hmm. Uh... I'm gonna do investigation again for the both of us. But this yeah. time an advantage, because we both kind of know what we're looking at this time. I'm I'm gonna like um wave Meadow over and and like hold it up like right next to us. Like, look, look at this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Time to roll! Yippee! Oh, <laughs> that's funny! <laughs> Natural 20 and a 13 from Meadow. <laughs> I don't need advantage. You don't even need the advantage. <laughs> I don't even need advantage. <laughs> Delightful, yes. Delightful. Oh, you are instantly able to tell that the that the the key that is kind of like more realistic but not super hyper realistic, that's the one you need to use. Got got it. <laughs> oh, get, got it? Got, got it. it. All right, got it. cool. Use it. <laughs> use it before it crawls away again. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm stuffing the other shoe in my pocket as well. Um, mm -hmm. you, get, you got your sword ready, right? I got it, I got it, don't worry. Yeah, and like, she like pats her hip where the sword is sheathed. <laughs> Completely, 100%, absolutely prepared. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it? You're good? Completely? No, no doubt. You sure? Stop stalling! <laughs> okay, okay! Fuck! <laughs> um... Alright, I'm gonna put the key in the keyhole and open the door. Open the door! <laughs> it I... successfully unlocks, and uh, it kind of like creaks open uh, outwardly. And uh, Metal like kind of like looks at Story, looks at the door, looks at Story, looks at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Story's just kind or... of like, has it, has it just barely cracked and is just kind of peeking through it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Meadow <laughs> is at Meadow also... And they look at the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meadow's gonna kind of like shove herself uh, underneath Story and they make like a kind of Scooby stack to peek through the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's roll perception. <laughs> if you say plus. I think you were the one who has more of an idea of what's in here, if I remember correctly. Uh, vaguely enough. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. 16. 16. 15. 15! Okay, um, so let's, let's just lump that in. Um, together. Um, mm -hmm. right. So, um, I'd say, uh, it's dark in here. Uh, immediately. There aren't any lights on. Oh, sorry, there aren't any lights on? Mm -hmm. There's... 
still a lot of stuff, but it's not, like, junk stuff. It's, um, sort of like a maze of pipes and even some, like, wires from the ceiling and stuff. Uh, and it's all just- it's so thick that it's kind of hard to see what's in the room, actually. Um, from the door, at least, right here. Um, there is this, like, faint red glow in the distance, though, and some... It, like, some sort of choking hum, I guess. It's... whatever <laughs> that noise is, it's distant enough that we can't exactly hear it. We can't when the door opens, we can't exactly make out what it is, but it sounds bad. Like, grating. <laughs> this isn't a, a Metal? good sound. Meadow quietly mumbles something under her breath. Uh, if you want, you can get Story to roll a uh, perception to try and hear it. You know I will. <laughs> Dirty 20. Dirty 20. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Meadow just under her breath and goes, Oh, fuck, no, this is some Five Nights at Freddy shit. No. <laughs> you know Freddy Fazbear? What? What? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. Nothing. Meadow just like immediately is like, I didn't say anything. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so. So. You have the sword. You have the sword. You have the sword. We just kind of like nudges you forward. And like Meadow, like, again, kind of gives you like a look before she kind of very smugly now kind of like puffs up her chest like oh you need me now i'm the important one now <laughs> just like all without saying oh, a word well, hang on. kind of like <laughs> kicks open the door with her foot and strides and in strides inside <laughs> oh well it's not, it's, and then immediately like he's dropping the whisper and everything well it's not like i'm scared or anything uh-huh sure <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know what? No! <laughs> Stride past you! <laughs> not if Meadow strikes fast! <laughs> she may not have long as long as you, but she can move fast! <laughs> you are a little rabbit. Um... Little rabbit. <laughs> uh, I think... I'm gonna write off that perception from before and say that it's, it's kind of hard to navigate, so we can't exactly move really super quickly. Um, mm -hmm. We try, we like, bump against something, but not like... Mm -hmm. It's not so direct that we run into something exactly. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh... Fucking hell, where's the light switch? <laughs> past this, like, initial little maze, it's not exactly a maze, but... of, of, of pipes and junk, um, that, uh... the source of that red light becomes clearer. Um... And it's this... It's a boiler, and it's kind of... Not exactly breathing, but... If it was, it wouldn't... It's choppy. It's not doing so hot. Ironically. Um... Oh, well, something picked up that thing's animation. Jeez. <laughs> like, Meadow kind of makes the comment... <laughs> looking it at it. <laughs> seem to be doing anything, though. It's just... Ugh. Mm -hmm. Meadow, like, kind of, like, squints at it for a little bit before shaking her head and, like, basically, like, looking around the room again because they're they're here to try and find another exit. And Is it this it? It seem like there's another exit in here. Is this really it? Are you kidding me? I, I guess. I don't know. There's gotta be, like, a, like a light switch. We can, there's another door in here somewhere. Clear. There has to... There, there's no way... You have a hammer space, don't you? Pull out a flashlight or some shit. <laughs> well, fine, okay. <laughs> Done. All right. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's a flashlight. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what a I wanted. Torch. Perfect. Um, a torch. A torch. <laughs> an already no, like a already lit torch, not like a. a <laughs> Flashlight, it's just a lit torch. <laughs> it's just a lit torch. <laughs> Meadow is just like, why, why do you of all people not have like a flashlight? I, I feel like that would be your thing. Yeah, me. I thought I had one. I, 
Hmm. Hang on. And then just drop it on the ground carelessly. What? what the, don't start a fire! There's <laughs> probably like nothing- flames and she catches it. There's probably <laughs> nothing flammable in here. Probably doesn't mean that there isn't story, okay? I don't want to have the tavern burst into flames. It's burning the- <sighs> The walls are stone. The floor is stone. What's going to burst into flame? That wall is wood! And Meadow points to one of the walls that's outside of the basement. <laughs> right, the wood all the way over there. I think we're fine. <laughs> and I think while we're arguing... You are so... frustrating! <laughs> oh, you're one to talk. <laughs> it's not like you've been lovely to me this whole time. Since I fucking you met you, even. You started it! You- you're, you're the one who started this bullshit! You started it! You started it! You started it! I- I've done nothing wrong! I've done nothing wrong! <laughs> and... then... Something growls... and hisses. <laughs> <laughs> uh... there is a palpable silence sudden silence in the room as uh the boiler behind them <laughs> flares up in an anger that kind of matches the same anger that's in the room i, I imagine There's a loud the pipes hiss. the pipes mm -hmm. creak and bend as well kind of warping and wrapping around the room <laughs> um um hmm that's not normal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Meadow's like backing up from the uh, boiler. Uh, so, uh, pardon us. Um, <laughs> it's just we took a wrong turn. That's all. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, um, listen. If we had known you were sentient and like taking a nap in here, we wouldn't have gotten and raised your voices so much, uh, Mister Mix Boiler. Um, uh. <laughs> And the, um, pipes twist and clank and turn some more, and, uh, as Story and Meta are backing up, they run into a wall of them. <gasps> okay! Oh! Any ideas? Any ideas? Any ideas? You're the ideas guy! I'm... You have ideas, yeah? <laughs> Not now! I- this... What do you expect me to do? <laughs> Come up with something! <laughs> Come up with something! Okay, fine! And Meadow is gonna swing her sword at one of the pipes. <laughs> That's her idea of, a, of an idea. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's do an initiative, huh? Yeah, let's roll initiative! After Meadow does this one attack right off the bat. Yeah, <laughs> you do roll your attack, uh, and I... Do you want to hold the beast, or shall I hold the beast? I'll hold one of the beasts. I'll hold you can you. hold one of the other beasts. <laughs> were there two or three beasts? There were three in total, including the boiler. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to take this beast, I'll take the other beasts. Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been, I've been very excited for this part <laughs> of the FPS. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a d20 plus a room. A 26 <laughs> I'm gonna work on initiative. And then that's gonna be. D8 plus 4 damage. 7 damage! 7! <laughs> So I'm keeping track of hit point totals in my in the meantime. Uh, I will roll the initiative for the big boiler. Three. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> and now for Meadow. Meadow is okay. ready. 
That makes sense though, because she immediately got that hit off right off the bat. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at. I got it. You got it, you got it. Alright, cool. Red, 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 red. <laughs> beast 2, Beast 3, spoiler. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> do you want to count that as Meadow's before... turn, then? Yeah, let's count that as Meadow's turn, but before we begin the actual initiative, do we want to take, like, a five-minute break, go get water, make sure that we are ready for combat? <laughs> I think I would like that, actually. Yeah, I think I would like that. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I ran out of water, and I need to get some more. I'll be right back. I have a secret. Yippee! I actually haven't had water. I am gonna go get some. Bye bye. Go get some water. Ooh, hear me. All right, and we're back after these short messages. <laughs> uh, good. Right back in it. Right back into it. When we left off, Meadow had just hit one of the pipes in the boiler, and it's probably made the situation exponentially worse. <laughs> There, Sorry, it's your turn. I'd say the noise gets worse. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Wait, <laughs> fuck! Wait, I actually have to participate. I have to. I have to participate. Have to participate. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> you know, I probably could have, have been doing that. I probably could have been preparing <laughs> and looking what I've got going on, rather than just talking and uh, making making no noises during the break. That's you. <laughs> You're all good. Okay, let me. Well, that would do no good. Well, that would do less good. I don't... <laughs> I should have thought about this. Apologies. You're all good. Do your thinking. Doing my thinking. Um... Alright. I say that as if I have a plan. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to also stab it, probably, um, which mm -hmm. isn't really the best idea. But... Right. So first off, uh, I want to give you another bright inspiration uh, and go, oh, surely you can hit a little better than that, huh? <laughs> wow. The most passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I want to rile you up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... Oh, wait, hang on. Hmm? Meadow's character sheet isn't right. I've just noticed something. Oh, uh -oh. hang on. My DMV has nothing right now. Where did uh -oh. my Toon Kind stuff go? Uh oh. Hello? Okay, hang on. <laughs> uh oh. That's why I hate uh -oh. DMV. It happened, it's finally happened, DMV has betrayed me! It took- it took several years, but it happened. I just need to get the orc brew sub-race thing, he thinks, and then I can... put it in there. Sorry, we- we're having some technical difficulties, give me a moment, please. That, that gives me a second to, like, think about this a little more properly as well, so don't worry about it! Yay! <laughs> don't you worry about it. Fine, I can fix this in post. I can get rid of the awkward silence. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Uh... With the magic of editing. <laughs> With the magic of editing. With the magic of editing. With the magic of editing. Editing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, I think I have fixed it. It looks like Meadow's character sheet is back to normal. Right. Okay. There we go. Sweet. All right. Um, I'll go ahead with what I was doing then. Um, pardon me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hang on, I lost my character sheet. How convenient. You lost your character sheet. I've got it. It's, it's in here somewhere. I've got it. I've got it. You got it. Yeah. You got it in the You got it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. All right. So first, uh, I'm gonna do that. Brought an inspiration on you. Uh, just go like, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> oh, surely you can hit better than that. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was weak. <laughs> that was weak. <laughs> You're weak. 
Yep, that's what I want to <laughs> see. Uh, and then I want to um, throw my dagger at it. I'm going to throw my dagger at like the main bit of it. <laughs> the main bit. The main bit. The main bit. I do not want to roll a d29. 14. 14. 14. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. It's fixed. It's fixed. We're good. Okay, so you rolled a a 14 to throw knife at it, yes? Yeah. Is that what happened? I don't think, if I remember correctly, I don't think that works. Let me see. Let me see. It is. Yeah, no, that won't hit. That don't do it. <laughs> The, the 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 knife you throw just kind of bounces off harmlessly. <laughs> it just like it like makes a little boink sound effect and then clatters to the ground. Hmm. <laughs> so, so story the story turn is telling you that you suck and then from doing the <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> that was lame! <laughs> I was just getting rid of my knife. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. <laughs> the, the boiler roaring in anger. <laughs> just keep hitting! I'm, I'm hitting, I'm hitting! <laughs> well, is Story going to do anything else? Uh, no, it's Beast 2's turn. It's Beast, sorry, it's Beast 2's turn. <laughs> Beast 2. Beast 2. Beast two. What is Wait. Beast 2, if I may ask? It's- it's- it's really- it's really strange that there aren't... ...any other beasts in this room, huh? It's- it's just- mm -hmm. it's just completely- there's nothing else in here, it's just the boiler and us- Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Uh... I think there's like... That- that bit of dialogue that we just had there. Uh, and then mm -hmm. the the big roar, and then like half a moment of silence before something you hear something crawling, and it sounds <laughs> big. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's kind of maneuvering itself through the um, uh, what is it called? The pipes, and uh, over and around them, uh. And the pipes seem to be bending to let it through. Uh, but from that mm -hmm. previous room, that table that you kicked so hard before? Yeah, you remember that? That little thing that you kicked? Meadow! <laughs> <laughs> that table comes crawling through! <laughs> and it's uh... Is that the pecking table? Why is the what? <laughs> I, I I don't I don't know! Why is the table alive? It should be! What did Chloe do in here? <laughs> is Meadow's immediate uh. assumption. Meadow okay. yelling, what kind of bullshit was Chloe doing in here? <laughs> the table's mad at you because you kicked it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, is, it gonna, is it gonna try to hit the metal? It will, I'm just really bad at reading. Pets, you, you're good. Take your time. Alright. Um, I think it's just gonna try and hit you over the head real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, ram itself into you. <laughs> do it, do its little charge and then hit? Yep. <laughs> That's Ooh. what to hit you! <laughs> it sure does! Ooh. Oh, um. Is that really the attack? Is that really what you do? Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Sixteen? Sixteen damn. Sixteen? Sixteen? Sixteen damage. Ouch. Ooh. Ouchie. It. Oh. <laughs> it hits you for 16 damage. Um, like Meadow is like yelling something at uh at Story and midway through she just goes Boo! as the table like rams into her gut. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jackson wouldn't be more than anything. 
Uh huh. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, Meadow temporarily does the gag where, like, you can see her soul, like, leaving her mouth before she grabs it and shoves it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, <laughs> hang on. Uh, uh, and then Story goes, oh, are you okay? Before, um, that's the end of that thing's turn. Fine. These three, um, <laughs> crawls through the same way, uh, and goes for Story. <laughs> it's on the 24! <laughs> Let me do that one more time, huh? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I got, I got lost, I got lost. <laughs> you're good, you're good. And story takes 12 to <laughs> Metal gets rammed into by a chair and immediately follow, like, a table and immediately following after his little chair. Mm hmm. I, we're focused on you right now, you just got fucking rammed by the table. And story's like, oh god, that looks awful. And then immediately gets hit by a chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just imagining like the chair rams into your legs, and you get and you get them swept oh, out from under you, and you come go clattering to the ground. <laughs> just whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that your turn? That is my turn. <laughs> Great! Cool! It's the boiler! It's time for the boiler! Alright! <laughs> the boiler! The boiler! The boiler! It's going to use its ability! We all need to roll a dexterity saving throw, chair and table included. Chair and table included, you got it, I'll do story first. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's do the let's do the characters. Saving first. throw. Okay, metal. Yes, deck saving throw. Metal, your deck save is a uh, plus four. Uh, 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 metal got a seventeen. Uh, Stormy got an eleven. And... Believe it or not, this makes it for both of us. Oh, it does. All right. Yeah, it does. Uh, that still means, however, you're taking half damage instead. Oh, that. <laughs> the table doesn't make it. Table, table and chair, respectively. Um, table and chair, respectively. <laughs> don't. Mm -mm, no. The 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 wooden things don't make it. We make it, however, which means huh. we're taking half of whatever this damage is. Uh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's nineteen fire damage. <laughs> Which I imagine for the wooden table and the wooden chair, it's pretty means it's awful. It's pretty yeah. bad. Hang on. Hang on. I so I think we take. <laughs> yeah. I think we take ten damage from this. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's halved. So we take ten, and the um, and the. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. How much help? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. How's how's story doing? Story's story's fine. Story story's fine. Okay. I'm not worried about story at all. Okay. Um it's just that that <laughs> that the, 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 the these two and three, the, the table and chair. <laughs> Avi, mm -hmm. uh, I'm- they're, they're both wooden, so mm -hmm. I imagine they probably are- Take double damage. Yeah, they, that's what I'm thinking, they probably take- And are now on fire. <laughs> they are now on, on fire, uh, but you see, 19 plus 19 is 38, and these things have 39 health each. <laughs> <laughs> They're on one hit point. <laughs> They're on one hit point each. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. So they just like really funny. They got <laughs> they got you. Meta they got story. friendly fired. They got friendly fired immediately. <laughs> Meta and story uh, leap out of the way, getting just like 
burned a little singed, maybe. Um, and <laughs> these two things don't have the chance to. And the moment the fire is gone, it's just like these barely moving charred skeletons. <laughs> Um, they, they were moving pretty fluidly before. You know those, um, like, you, you've seen the way those, like, robot dogs toddle around, though? Like, it's kind of, it's, like, super chobby. Yeah, that's the way that they move now. That's the way that it looks like. That's what it looks like when they move. That's amazing. Oh, that's good. So they, I don't need to keep track of their health. I think I'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. You're, you're just, your job just got a lot easier. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Okay, so that is the boiler's turn, who has belched fire. Mm -hmm. I need to now roll a, a d6 to see if it recharges its ability. Oh wait, no, I recharged it at the beginning of the turn. Never mind. Okay. Okay, in that case, it's Beto's turn. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me look at your things, Meadow. You have... Oh, actually, one thing before I continue, I need. We're gonna roll me an investigation story. You got it, boss. Oh fuck. Cause, cause you're more familiar with mechanical whatsits and boozies and, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, thingamabobs and whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Either investigation or insight. Either one. I did. I think they're both oh. plus six anyway. Have, all of my rolls are plus six. Twelve. That's a twelve. A twelve. That's a twelve. I unfortunately don't think that's enough. Mm. Not the one we had in mind. Uh, you are looking at the the big scary boiler from your spot on the floor of where you've been tackled, and it's it's big. It's scary. There's steam everywhere. There's fire burping out of its mouth. It's not great. <laughs> Nope. Sorry, it's a very, very lovely shade of blue. Uh huh. Blue, 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 <laughs> blue, blue. Uh, take your turn, William. Uh, yes. Mhm. Mm uh, it's Meadow's turn. Meadow is going to deal with the table immediately. Uh, she also has. I think she has. This is bubble. Hang on, I have to look this up. Yeah, Meadow gets two attacks in a turn, that's okay. right. Okay. Okay, so uh, Meadow is going to grab her rapier and make an attack on the table. Does, uh, does a nine hit? I don't... I don't know, hang on. I, it's the table. Um, no. Cool, I'm using the Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Immediately. Three. Uh, that's a 12. Mm. <laughs> I still think that doesn't hit. No. Oh, mm. <laughs> Meadow, like, lifts up her weapon and tries to slam the hilt down onto it, but the table manages to wobble out of the way kind of, like, drunkenly. Yeah, like, because it just kind of awkwardly falls hurt. back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Metal just kind of growls and goes, hold still! And, uh, I'm going to roll again. Thirteen! No, Metal! That doesn't hit. That don't hit. Hit Metal. Okay. Well, Metal! Uh, Metal, like, slices the sword down and, like, the table manages to dodge it again. The exact same way, but in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> and Metal is just like, what the hell? Ugh! <laughs> okay, uh... Nice job! Section... Oh, shut up! <laughs> I have to look up how this works real quick. Give me a moment. Uh, I've never done this before. Don't worry I'm not about used it. to fighters. No, don't worry don't about, about it. Take fighters. your time. Oh, it is a bonus action! Yippee! Okay. As a bonus action, Meadow is going to pause take a deep breath and kind of steady herself. 
And she is going to use Second Wind to regain Mm -hmm. 1d10 plus 6 hit points. 15! Ooh! So yeah, Meadow, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meadow basically just takes some time to like center herself and refocus and like kind of rubs at uh, rubs at her face and prepares herself for more steadily for the battle. She like readies herself with a uh, more uh, fight ready pose as rather than being caught off balance. And I'm gonna say that that is now the end of her turn. Uh, she's basically gonna wait and s- wait for things to attack her now because she expects that's coming very soon. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, right. It's me next, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I'm not gonna save that. I don't think I'll save it. Um, okay, give me a minute. You're all good. Take your time. And here I thought you were going to prove me wrong and actually hit something. <laughs> Take another writing inspiration, really. Last one. <laughs> I'm loving that these are all in so... It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> For anyone else, it would be like, I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> For better, it's just get better. Get better. Get better. <laughs> get good. <laughs> Wow, I was wrong for expecting more than you, more out of you. Will you shut up and focus on the fight? <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> uh. And uh, I'm going to have the boiler roll me a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw from the boiler. From the boiler. Yippee! It's not very good at those. <laughs> let, let me show you this hilarious modifier. Minus four. Minus four. What have we got? Nine. Nine? Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Um. Oh, it doesn't move. Hang on. <laughs> it can move, actually. Technically speaking. Can it move? <laughs> It can move, it does have a movement speed. <laughs> well, then let's get it to move. Um, hang on. So he uses Dissonant Whispers. Um, and starts like Ooh! hissing something under their breath at it. Uh, and it takes um, 17 psychic damage and has to use its reaction immediately to move as far away from me as it can. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, the the boiler, you can see, like, several of its pipes start hissing and steaming in response to this, and it kind of, like, s- makes, like, a large creaking sound, and there's, like, a few cracks as it actually starts getting up from against the wall and kind of, like, backs up into a corner. Pipes kind of rearranging themselves to accommodate its sudden change in position. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and that's all I want to do. Yay! Hold on, I have to do math now. Ooh. I have to subtract hit points. Dang, you did a number on this thing. <laughs> Woo! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And that is the end of Story's turn. Yes? I'm for, yeah, uh, the table now. The table! The table's not looking so hot, huh? Um, it's Bucky. I think the, one more attack in. The table is fucking mad at you. The table. The, the table hates me. The, cha- the, the Sorry, the chair couldn't give a shit. The chair doesn't. It doesn't matter. Um, mm-hmm. the table. The table's mad at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pardon. Meadow, like, both arms stretch out her side. Come on, hit me! Hit me! <laughs> Ten hit! <laughs> it does not! Okay. Then it just kind of, like, toddles toward you and, like, stumbles a bit. <laughs> Nothing happens. Mm-hmm. 
I have the mental image of like it starts running towards Meadow and Meadow like leaps up into the air, slams her hands down it and uses it to bounce over it mm-hmm. like a bunny. <laughs> After you bounce over it, it just kind of like keeps moving forward and then bonks into the wall a little bit and it's <laughs> it doesn't seem to, it's just all it knows is get mad. All it knows is anger. All it knows is get anger. Um I think that's all that one will do. Mm-hmm. What's the chair up to? I'm gonna have the chair also hit, um, have it hit me this time. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it, uh, do you, uh, I mean, it could hit Meadow instead if, you know, maybe, <laughs> uh-oh. You already said, you already said story. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Luckily, it won't get a charge attack this yeah. time, because it's not far enough away. <laughs> no, that one isn't scared of me. Um, mm-hmm. Pathetic little thing. Eleven. Um, and the chair. The chair has better luck. It's 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 got more focus mm-hmm. in it. Uh, it's not as pissed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and mm-hmm. it. I think the same thing happens. I think the same thing happens again. Just um. Bonks against the wall. No, actually, no. Um. I think <laughs> story's busy looking at uh. The table just pathetically uh, wobbling over, uh, and then doesn't notice the chair just fucking hit her in the gut. <laughs> gut. <laughs> yep. Gut attack. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were dead. Ugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's that. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, 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 okay. This is not looking good. <laughs> Story is getting beaten to a pulp. They're okay. Are you sure? I'm fine. Oh, but what's your hit point at? Um, <laughs> on an arbitrary scale of uh, of zero you to have... your max HP. <laughs> you want like a number? You want me to give you a number? Yeah, a number. Um, mid twenties. Ooh, okay, that's good to know. Okay, um, let me I'm see. I'm fine. I've done. I've been through worse. <laughs> well, I have bad news. It's the boiler's turn now. <laughs> I need to roll a d6. Good. It doesn't recharge its fire capabilities. Okay. The boiler doesn't like you, Story. Mm-hmm. You, you've done some nasty things to it. Yep, I made- I kind of messed with it mm-hmm. and now it's a little afraid of me, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to roll to hit. It can only do one of these attacks, which is you, I suppose. Uh, d20 plus six. Um, does a 13 hit? Nope. Okay. With a sound of, like, creaking metal and, like, kind of, like, random nuts and bolts kind of breaking off and shooting around the room, uh, one of the pipes dislodges itself from the walls and attempts to slam into you, but it misses just barely. <laughs> just barely. Uh... And slams into you on the, on the ground, slams on the, onto the ground next to you. <laughs> it's close enough the story goes, whoa, okay! Mm-hmm. And there is like a series of like crashing and bending sounds as it hits, as the pipe impacts the ground. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And more of that steam starts bursting through holes that are in the pipe. They argue another investigation. Yes. Eighteen. Okay. This is, this is starting to work a little better. Uh, you are noticing, like, the longer you're fighting this thing, that this thing is a lot more damaged than it should be from, like, what you guys have already done to it. There are, like, there are so many holes in its pipes, and you can see, like, pressure gauges all around the room. They're, they're going wild in ways that do not seem good for a machine. Like, this thing looks like it's on the verge of exploding if oh. this is left unattended to. <laughs> and oh. all that 
is building and it might be taking out that anger and that pressure on you guys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Poor thing. Hang on. Meadow. Poor thing? Poor thing? Yes, poor thing. Hold its attention. Please. Um, don't hit it. Just keep it distracted. It's trying to kill us! Yeah, well, not for long. Um, it's... <laughs> just, just, just stay safe. Don't hit it. Um, it's just a little damaged. Okay? Ugh, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm... Ugh. I'll take your word for now, but if it kills me, I will kill you. I will haunt you your ass. You have full per permission to haunt my ass. <laughs> I will not be wrong. <laughs> that is the end of the boiler's turn, which means it's Meadow's turn. Uh, Meadow. What are you going to do, Meadow? Meadow is going to use her bonus action and use one of her superiority dice. Mm -hmm. And she is going to do rally. Uh, Meadow, uh, with a new deter with newfound determination, just kind of called out to you. Okay, well, whatever it is you're doing, do it fast and do it well. And you are going to gain. Uh, what is your superiority dice, Meadow? I need to look up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how does this work? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't uh, use these ones very often. I I've never. I can help you. I've never played a fighter. Don't worry. I'm. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You got that. Got it. Uh. Okay. So it's a D8. So you're going to gain a D8. Plus Meadow's Charisma modifier, which is minus one, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can... Okay. <laughs> uh, of temporary hit points. <laughs> if this was a number story, we could see they would go, oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Four temporary hit points. You feel a little bolstered. <laughs> S slightly. <laughs> okay. Perhaps out of fight to prove yourself. <laughs> But yeah, Meadow is then going to, uh, she's going to, oh gosh, Meadow, you can do a lot of cool things. I better, I need to read your, for your character sheet more often. Um, anyway, <laughs> going to attack the table. <laughs> does an 11 hit? Oh shit, I have the table. Sorry. I, uh, I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Does a 16 hit? Yes, it does. Thank goodness. You kill it. Don't even roll damage. You kill it. It's got one yeah, hit point. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You fucking tap Meadow, it. Like, misses it. Me Meadow misses it again and then just kind of like curses again and then kicks the leg of it and it just goes tumbling over. <laughs> Not even that. It turns into dust. It fucking like dissolves into ash. It's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the second mm -hmm. you touch it. Mm -hmm. Meadow like stares at the pile of what was once a table before she rounds on the chair and like points at her eyes and then points at it like you're next. <laughs> it starts shaking. <laughs> and that's gonna be Meadow's turn. Story, you're up. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay, um I got the toolbox from the previous room. I have a toolbox on me. Mm -hmm. Um thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um mm -hmm. so I I guess like um my main my main go my main goal, my main goal, my main goal, um, mm -hmm. is to do damage control first and foremost, um, uh, patch up, uh, a few leaking pipes and, um, mm -hmm. see if I can find, like, mm -hmm. other than the leaking and the, the broken pipes, if there's any other issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, give me... I want you to give me two different roles. The first one's going to be investigation for thoroughly finding the problems. And then the next one's going to be sleight of hand for applying your uh, delicate hand mm -hmm. to to fix at mm -hmm. least some of them. So, investigation. 
14. 14. Okay. Sleight of hand. You don't know. 14. 14 and 14. Okay. That's that's pretty decent. It's not like super stellar, but you're kind of in a situation where it's extremely stressful. So this makes yep. sense. And I'm kind uh, of still pretty damaged. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, closest to you, uh, against the wall with the many pipes, you can see several, like, holes which are releasing steam, which really shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> uh, these ones seem to be the most obvious problem to you, and therefore the ones that you can solve the easiest. With a mm -hmm. 14, I think you get to work pulling out different tools from the toolbox, as well as maybe some more temporary solutions, like wrapping cloths around some of the holes yep. to, to keep it from letting more of that steam escape. Mm -hmm. And you are able to do a very, very relative patch job on this part of the part of the boiler. As long as I can get it to calm down, I can fix it proper later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It unfortunately doesn't seem to have calmed down. You might need to repair some more things before it starts calming properly. <laughs> right. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, and I guess that's all I can do right now. Um, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually want to. I'll do that in a second. Um, table's gone. Mm -hmm. Chair turn. Um, what's the chair gonna do? Uh, it's you. You. You threaten it. <laughs> you threaten it. Um, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. it's shaking and quaking in its non-existent boots. Um, and. <laughs> Uh, it gets uh, a moment of courage, and, and, it, and it stands up straight, and it um, stomps its little legs, and then it <laughs> goes over to grab you. Go not grab you, to get you. To get you. It's, it's gonna get, get you. Me. It's gonna get you. It's gonna get me. It's gonna get me. Roll a bit. Roll a hit. Does that 15 hit 15. you? 15 does not hit me. My armor class is higher. <laughs> uh, you know what? Then I have an idea. It <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's its little bout of courage, and it's stopping its little legs, and it <laughs> runs at you, and then it gets close, like, within a foot of you, and it, and it gets, it backs up, it starts backing up, <laughs> it doesn't even try and hit you, it starts backing up. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to use one of Meadow's abilities, because she would. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. By all means. Meadow has, Meadow's going to use one of her superiority dice, and use her reaction to use Repose. Repose? 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 Rep Whatever it is. Something like that. This one! <laughs> I screenshotted it and put it in chat. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you can use a reaction and expend one superiority die to make a melee weapon attack against the creature. If you hit, you add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. So basically, I make another uh, weapon attack at it. And then if right. I hit, it does extra damage. <laughs> You won't need to. Mm-hmm. 23! <laughs> you look at it, it dies. <laughs> you look at it, it dies, it just... <laughs> into smoke and ash. Exactly. That's the perfect sound effect! That's exactly what happens! <laughs> 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 there are it two piles died. of ash on the floor now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're gone. It's Meadow. just us two in the boiler. Us two in the boiler, which means I need to roll a d6 again to see if it recharges the fire breath. One. No. I think it's gonna turn its, uh, its slam attack against Meadow this time, because Meadow now seems a lot more threatening with it ha with her having destroyed both of the allies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Meadow did that, Meadow yeah. <laughs> Meadow did do that, yeah. She did, she did do that. <laughs> Very threatening, the one damage. Very threatening. Mm -hmm. Uh, ten to hit- no. Once again, one of those pipes tear itself, uh, this time from the ceiling, and start- and try- and this time kind of s tries to slam into Meadow in kind of like an impaling motion. But Meadow is easily able to, like, jump out of the mm -hmm. way. <laughs> I think it's mad at me. I think it's mad at me. <laughs> it might be mad at you. It's mad at me. <laughs> Keep it mad at you. I, I, I'm trying. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, is that uh off of the boiler? It is the boiler's turn, which means it's now Meadow's turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. What can you do that doesn't involve hitting something, Meadow? Mm. Not a lot. Do a little dance or something. Okay, I think she's going to use her action to actually take the dodge action so that she's harder to hit. Mm -hmm. her, her stance goes from one that's like more on the offensive to one on the defensive. You can see her kind of like bouncing from foot to foot and like ready to jump out of the way if needed. Right. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, do it faster, please. <laughs> I'm trying. And now it's Doria's turn. <laughs> um, more of the same. Uh, quick repair, quick repair, quick repair. But uh, I think I also have, if I remember correctly, mending. Um, mending. Mending. Alright, and that's not the button I meant to hit. Um, so as I'm, uh, I want to multitask on this. I don't know if this is possible because. Uh, but as I'm like um, manually repairing uh, a lot of these little holes, I do want to like passively also cast mending um, on mending some... on the ones that you've like patched up already. Maybe maybe the ones I patched up already. Maybe some ones that look like uh, they'll take a little bit more work that uh, I couldn't mm -hmm. do as quickly. Actually, I think. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just to get this. To How make about, this quick. Mm -hmm. How about give me a spell casting roll? Okay. Just in general, like a straight I'm spell wanting... casting. This is this is basically to determine like how how well you're doing this, how well you're keeping your head level and keeping your focus on doing the magic correctly to repair correctly mm -hmm. while you're in this bit of a tense situation. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. That's. <laughs> That was... Mm, that did not work. Try again. <laughs> 23! 23. I'm oh, showing. It's, it's my like turn to show off. It's like putting on a pair of familiar boots. This is your zone. This is this is, this is is what you do, man. <laughs> this is what this I is do. This is your hyperfixation. <laughs> this, is, this is hyperfixation. <laughs> Fixation. You're locked in. <laughs> I'm locked in. There's no boiler. There's no meadow. I'm I'm just doing my job. I'm just having a good time, actually. This is what I do every day for job. fun, anyway. Mm hmm And with swift action, we're able to start repairing these pipes extremely well, actually. They're doing they're doing like a little dance about it, like um, <laughs> leaping from pipe to pipe. It's uh um, it's more of like a <laughs> show at this point. Mm -hmm. Humming a little tune is at the same time. Like a, yeah, like a ballet. <laughs> <laughs> like a ballet. <laughs> <sighs> right, they're showing they're, off. They're showing off just a little bit. Okay. And is that the end of your turn? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna make two rolls. First to see if the boiler recharges the fire attack. It doesn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> And then now I'm going to make a roll and see if it can figure out that you're basically trying to fix it. I'm going to give it advantage because you did so well with fixing it this last go. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it still has a minus four to insight and intelligence things. So we'll see. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> like, the boiler stops for like a second. And like you can see it kind of like tutishly tilt to one side at like somebody tilting their head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like what what are what are you it's, it's like it's like it's like it's not verbally saying it, but it's like, what are you doing? What what Why doesn't even notice? Why are you not hitting me? <laughs> he doesn't even notice. He's just he's in the zone about it. Mm-hmm. A ten unfortunately, I don't think stops it. So it's still gonna hit Meadow. <laughs> it's like it's like passively fascinated with you, but like 
like staring at you while one pipe is still like trying to slam down on me. <laughs> It'll be fine. You're fine, mm. Meadow. It has disadvantage because Meadow has taken the dodge action to avoid being hit. Uh, oh, that's still an 18, though. That will hit Meadow. <laughs> ooh. 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 <laughs> okay, that is 12 damage. Oof. <laughs> well, you're in the zone, uh... <laughs> there is, like, you know... Actually, Meadow is going to use the Acme effect. Mm -hmm. We have that. She's gonna use that. I don't think I've ever heard anyone use it. Mm -hmm. The Acme effect. Starting at level 5, you can use this ability to become resistant to any non-magical attack once per long rest. <laughs> so, she is now taking half of that damage, which is now 6 instead of 12. <laughs> and, like, you know... <laughs> It's kind of like a wet slapping sound effect because the pipe like slams onto her and she squishes underneath it in a style that's very worn. <laughs> no commentary from Story, he's still working. Mm -hmm. Fucking dances past you. The Grolix that is coming out of Meadow's mouth is filling her corner <laughs> of the room. <laughs> Right. That is the end of the boiler's turn. Meadow, who now pops back up into her original form, she wants to fight the thing. Fighting the thing is not what they want to do, but it's what she wants to do, but it's what... Ugh! She hates not fighting things. It's, it's the easiest solution to things, but Story's got their own thing going on. And it seems to be working a little bit, even though she still got hurt. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> Just keep it distracted, I'm almost done. I'm keeping it distracted. Hey, hey, big stupid boiler, look at me, look at me. And she like turns around and starts shaking her butt at it. <laughs> <laughs> The you're still action. drawing attention. You're, 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 yeah, yeah. That's all I wanted from you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. That means it's story's turn again. You know what I'm doing. Same, same as it ever was. Um. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Mm -hmm. Um. More fixin'. More fixin'. More fixin'. Um, more fixin'. You might need to roll another investigation this time I in do. order to find new things to fix, because I'm gonna say you've you've fixed all the pipes yeah. that haven't been used as bludgeoning weapons. But it's still not doing <laughs> well, it's doing too hot, I think. Um mm -hmm. it's it's still doing a bit too hot, so I'm gonna see where the problem is. Mm-hmm. Eleven. 11. Ooh. I'm gonna say Roll it at advantage, because Meadow is keeping the only other enemy in the room, like, six. So I don't really need to worry about occupied. it. I don't really need so to. You, so you have more time to focus. Yeah. I did worse. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking you did worse! Hard. I'm searching to right again. You, you, you fixed all the pipes, but there's still, like, enough steam in the room what? that it's clouding your vision enough to make it difficult. I'm wearing glasses, too. <laughs> your, your glasses are fucked up. <laughs> You have to- you have to stop and, like, clean them, like, gosh, dang it. <laughs> Kinda need these, I'm nearsighted, but- oh, okay. Just keep going, Meadow! Uh, I've got it under control! Do you?! I do! do. You? <laughs> Just keep doing what you're doing, it's fine! Uh, 
Um, I think. Well, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna do mending again, like on the main bit of it. I'd like the um, it's core bit because I can't find anything else to fix. Just like for my turn, I I, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> this thing, mm -hmm. this main just part, I don't. Run over seem... and cast mending onto the main body of this thing. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> This part doesn't mm -hmm. look broken, but I might as well try. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me look at mending real quick. Uh... All right. Come on, come on, website, work with me here. There we go. The spell repairs a single breaker tear in an object you touch, such as a broken chain in two halves of the zombie breaker tears. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say anything about needing to see what's broken. So actually, this does work. <laughs> yeah. range. The range mm -hmm. is just touched, so I just need to, like, oh, it's gonna mm -hmm. hurt for, like, a half a second. Mm -hmm. It's a bit. <laughs> Do you still have that oven mitt from before? <laughs> <laughs> Have I been wearing it? <laughs> I think it would be funny if they've been wearing it this whole time. <laughs> they each had the one of oven mitt on this whole time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Roll, give me another spell casting roll. Again, at advantage, because you're in the zone. <laughs> I'm using Avre. Dice You're person, you've disappointed Avray. me. Fifteen. Okay, while it isn't an interstellar job, it is still sufficient enough for what you need to do. Uh, you run over to the big boiler and uh, place your oven-mitted hand against its surface and cast mending and pour the magic into this construct. And uh, the an unseen crack kind of on the other side of it very quickly heals itself, like the separated parts slowly fusing back together until it makes a seamless uh, repair. And uh, gonna give the boiler another roll at advantage. Eleven. S slightly better. We're gonna count it. <laughs> <laughs> better than a ten. The boiler. Now recognizing that, oh wait, you're here to fix me. Okay. Uh, slowly stops, uh, you know, slinging pipes everywhere and actually very carefully settles itself back against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told and you. We are, we are out of initiative. <laughs> I told you. <sighs> like, Meadow is, like, standing there with her sword, waiting for things to go wrong, and things are no longer going wrong. <laughs> See? She'd always listen okay. to me. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll hand it to you. That did work. Um... Oh do my god! To, do you have to? Do you have to fix anything else? And like okay. the boiler kind of gives a growling sound, and Meadow jumps. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do another look around. I couldn't really at the moment. I'm kind of now that we're done with that. I that hurt actually quite a bit. <laughs> Woo! You doing okay? Do you? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm fine. Uh, like like Meadow not gonna talk about the bruised ribs or anything. I think I'm gonna, um, I think I was <laughs> lost an arm there, but that's okay. Yeah, ooh, oh, ooh. <laughs> It'll grow back. Do you have, do you have healing stuff? I, I do. Yeah, don't worry potions? about it. Um, okay, just don't worry about it. Not a problem. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do one more look around. You uh, also see if you can find anything broken eh? on it. Uh, and like meadows. Thank you, henchman. Action. <laughs> Now she's investigating on her own. She's not doing the help action anymore. <laughs> okay. I was. I. I don't. I don't think 
I, you know, I, don't, I think I'm just gonna send you off and just like lean there and let you do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meadow like glares at you and points at, the uh, at a pipe that's actually sticking on top of the boiler. And you can see that there's like one of those wrenches that like clip clamp onto things. Oh. It has been clamped far too tightly on top of it. <laughs> Some bozo just left us here, huh? Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, that shouldn't be that difficult to fix. Um, uh, and, I th hmm. Do you want to make this, Avi, do you want to make this hard for me or do you want, do you want it to be easy? Ah, uh, depends on what you roll. <laughs> do you want, um, cause I'm, I don't like to use stories shape-shifting for anything useful. Um, mm -hmm. unless it's like, let's just get this over with. But, mm -hmm. if you'd like me to roll something, if you'd like me to like, Puzzle this out. See, the thing is, with this one, you might have to just straight up roll strength. Strength? Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> then will you let me just stretch up there? Yes. Okay. Jake the dog it. Um. Jake the dog it. Uh, Story just kind of like shakes their arms a bit and goes, Broom! and uh, just extends them up to where the wrench is and pulls. Mm hmm. Give me strength. Pardon. Eight. Eight. <laughs> you give a know. grunt. It's not <laughs> budging. Okay. Um. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just picturing story like gripping onto the thing of the wrench with both with both arms and like her leg or their legs. <laughs> Either. <laughs> oh, Ronan, sorry about it. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just kind of like just trying to walk backward. Mm -hmm. I've got <sighs> under control. Meadow's basically gonna cross her arms and wait for Stuart to be done. <laughs> <sighs> Do you want me to give it a shot? No, no, I've got it. It's fine. <laughs> Meadow like looks at her paw like she's looking at her nails, <laughs> even though she doesn't have any nails. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's I don't need your help. <sighs> Move. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Meadow's gonna shove you out of the way and try to get the get the wrench herself. It's really easy. <laughs> you can push them away really easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She just shoves you off screen. <laughs> Their arms just kind of like uh, pile into noodles mm -hmm. on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then she rubs her hands together and kind of goes pff, pff, into both of them <laughs> and uh, grabs onto it. And uh, she's going to give it a roll. Straight string. 21! It's like nothing. <laughs> like, barely, you didn't need to, you barely touched it. It's good. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Meadow like jumps up, grabs onto it, and uses like both her, both like a yank down motion as well as gravity to assist her in yanking it out, out of place. And uh, it is, it has been fixed. There is no longer that awful pressure buildup. There we go. You, I loosened it. Uh-huh, sure you did. <sighs> and then uh she basically reaches out the reaches the tool out towards Story and just kind of drops it into their hands. <laughs> <laughs> They're not expecting the weight, so they had to just like drop a little bit and do oh, oh, okay, no, I got it. <laughs> there you go. Spoils of war. Mm-hmm. That's fine, fine. We you know we didn't get a way out of here. Still need to find a way out, don't we? Mm, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But and we're not in the danger. boiler. The boiler actually, uh, now that it has been repaired, actually looks much more pleasant. It's it's very scary, sharp art style has turned much more rounded, <laughs> and dare I say, cute. <laughs> <laughs> and That's it sick. just gives like a 
a happy little steam whistle from one of its pipes as uh, one of them pops off of the wall and points out, uh, points somewhere out of the room towards uh, the stairs. Well, we already checked over there, but... Alright, um, thanks little guy. Thank you. <laughs> you feeling better? There is another, like, happy little whistle of steam. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, don't, don't, you don't gotta worry about uh, attacking anyone anymore. You just, if you, if you, if someone fucks you up like that again, just let me know. I'll help you out. Just let me know. I'm around. One of the pipes does like a little saluting motion. <laughs> there we go. See, what a pleasant little guy. I like you. <laughs> um, back that way, huh? All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> story makes their way back. Mm -hmm. Meadow, uh. Let story lead the way and like kind of like squints back at the boiler. <laughs> it's fine, it's harmless now. <sighs> if you say so. And uh she's gonna like leave the door open so that it's not just like in a closed off room by itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um the staircase then. and going back to the stairs and heading up them. The door has returned. Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? Mission Why fucking accomplished, I guess. Um. What? It, it, it. Meadow. 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 <laughs> Grab you by the shoulders. Meadow. What? Whoa, 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 it, whoa, whoa, what? It, tell me. There was no door there before. Tell you remember that. There, there was. There, there was, was no door. door there, there was no door before. before. No, it's back. You remember that. Is you it, remember that. I remember is it, that. Is it unlocked? I'm, I'm dashing to the door and immediately like yanking it open. It opens. <laughs> they gesture. What? Okay. This. The... I hate the tavern and like <laughs> just like. Stomps past with her angry little rabbit feet. <laughs> you and I both. <laughs> I. I'm gonna make a milkshake. Do you want one? I can't believe I'm asking, but do you have any that will make me less, uh, dead? I. Maybe. Probably have to ask Chloe for that one specifically, because that one technically uses healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, then just make me something nice. Alright, sure. You want the vinegar one? I do want the vinegar one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and the two of them begrudgingly, and perhaps on slightly better terms, slightly, go story, to the broom closet. <laughs> story does add, I, this doesn't make me like you anymore. Mm hmm Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that's a, a good place to end it? Yeah! <laughs> Sweet! Mission success! <laughs> Nothing! Mission success! Nothing was learned! <laughs> Nothing was learned! <laughs> Nothing was learned! We're back at net zero! <laughs> Uh, thank you, listeners, um, present and future, <laughs> for being here and listening. Uh, I had a great time. Yeah, this was so much fun. Thank you for playing with me. Thank you for having You're very fun to play with. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm just... <laughs> oh, now I have the mental image, though, of the both of them walking out of this of this door, beaten to shit, and people are just looking at them like, What happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, um... My health was at 24 out of 58, um, by the by. They're not- 58? Mm hmm Oh, what a shame. I've got 70. Oh. <laughs> Meadow, like, walks past with her, both arms behind her head. <laughs> oh, that does Just not mean very, you're better than me. <laughs> a very cheeky, gloaty grin. <laughs> <laughs> this does not mean you're any better than me at all. Hang on. 
And Story's chasing off to deliver another insult or try and one-up her one more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with that, the screen fades to black. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, one more time. <laughs> uh, and and good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.